Michelle from Good Day State Line joining us now, letting us know what's trending overnight, including a kind of a interesting way people are getting interviewed now from celebrities. Michelle, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. It's Monday, but uh, <laughs> kind of a fun topic you're talking about right now. Something that people are trying to interview, though, in this uh, new age that we're in. Yeah, talk shows, you know, I'm still waiting for scripted TV shows to come back. I think we have a couple <laughs> weeks until they premiere um, on the big, big networks, but talk shows have been able to um, be back for the last few weeks, but they're finding new ways to interview. I don't know if you've seen the Drew Barrymore show, but she's actually having people People like pretend in the studio they're really in LA and then they're holographed into New York oh I so, did not yes. I've so not seen that check no. that out online okay. that's something she's doing Kelly Clarkson decided to go a little bit of a different way so she could actually spend some time with these celebrities <laughs> she's interviewing them in drive-in theaters that's they're driving awesome. their own cars to meet each other and she's calling them interviews drive interviews um, she recently talked to Sarah Michelle Geller and she revealed why her kids think she's cool now so have, you, have your kids seen Buffy? We just started. I had never thought to show it to them. And they asked during quarantine, they said we were trying to like find shows to binge. And I was like, okay, I didn't even know if they'd be into it, but they are like so into it. Except I'm the world's biggest disappointment for them because they'll always ask questions and I'll be like, I don't remember. I'll have to text someone and ask. And oh. yeah, they think they know it better than I do at this point. Oh my God, I loved it. It made me want to be a ninja. I just wanted to be able to be like, Whoa! Like you my were son has, butt. My son actually thinks that I'm cool now. I think it's cool. Yeah, there you go. Finally. I'm still not cool to mine. I feel like the funniest part of that before we talk about Buffy, did you see how they're holding onto the I was just right gonna now? say the same thing. I was like, they're not driving, they're parked and they're both have like, you know, they're about to drive away or something. They look like they're in the Starbucks drive through and they're it. like trying not to annoy Like the just catching up that. like, hey, we'll talk later. Yes, but I think I do think this is a really fun idea for social distance interviews. Obviously yep. too, they're in a beautiful area of LA. So nice I cars think, too. Yeah, they were talking about their first cars in this interview. It's a little bit longer. You can catch it online if you want to check it out um, but they were also just talking about how long Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. have been together which they started dating on um, so I know what you did last summer which I I don't even know if everyone who's working here this morning were born at that point <laughs> I'll have to check in with Joey that later is a good question. to see what year he was born and what year that movie came out they've been together they're one of the like longest Hollywood couples really and so she was talking about how they used to have dates where he would drive her to the gym because he had a car and she didn't oh and he'd God, like go so shopping funny. while she was working out and then what was really really fun which I think would be um, just a great topic for us all to talk about too uh, she was saying that she was going to ask everyone she sees what their best corn purchases were mm. do you have one Elliot do you have a corn purchase I just have bought of? so much food I mean that's the <laughs> that a surprise and no, I feel like I just cooked more so I was telling um, one of our producers like I, I made a soup yesterday and I bought a lot of spices for because I don't have okay. a lot of spices so like that's honestly been something that I've been purchasing more just like building up the pantry so when I look at a new recipe I just don't have to like go and buy all the crazy ingredients that I never have you know what I mean Does yeah that that's so I, I've been doing a few of those things <laughs> building too. my spice cabinet that's been what that's <laughs> a perfect one if you're wondering about the celebrity Sarah Michelle Gellar said she bought a um, movie screen for her backyard okay and Kelly Clarkson said she bought a bounce house well, that's fun. Both obviously moms. Have, yeah, I was going to say, they both have kids and probably just want to help them find something to do when they can't take them elsewhere. Yeah, my corn purchases, I finally, it's funny too because it's October. We've been quarantining since March. I finally, I bought a new lamp and I wallpapered oh. one of my walls in my apartment. And, and it I looks good. Like, thank you. I feel like I have a brand I feel new like apartment. It's like kind of like a little makeover, a little apartment makeover for you. I will tell you that somebody said, oh, it's so fun to watch you grow up. <laughs> All right. Well, we want to leave you guys with our Morning Mug Club question of the day.